believe I trusted you with my best friend. You vile little asshole! I don't have time for this. Um, so you can keep your bloody, um... Pawn, usually. Pawn! Cos I'm going! And you'll never see me ever again! All right, it's all right, you can go. Don't stay away for long. Women can't resist my old sex aura. When did you start being sexy? That was it. Well, seriously, Don, I used to actually like you doing that. <laughs> Maybe I'm a bit rusty. Yeah, I thought that was a nervous tip. What was with the eyebrow? <laughs> no, no, listen, Donna dig like that, right? And if you can't see it, then there's something wrong with you. you seriously, Donna. All right, no, it didn't work. <laughs> the women are so complicated. Oh, gas. <sighs> How did you and Johnny make up? I know you sometimes fell out, because I used to often listen to him in the pub. Oh? What did he say? Well, you know, he'd sort of cry a bit. I'd cuddle him till the tears stopped coming and, well, maybe sing to him a little bit. <laughs> oh, God, I miss that man. Hmm. He used to always come back quite horny. <laughs> <laughs> but we did always make up, you are right. And it always started with food. OK, right, stay there. <clears throat> Oi, if you change it into that pasty bikini, it's probably gone off. <laughs> Bags you not the gusset. No, no. Biscuits! Ta-da! What? Supposed to do with these? Eat them, they'll make you feel better. Didn't work for Eamon Holmes. <laughs> Just try it. Sacrilege! What? You must complete the first level before progressing to the second. <laughs> no, this, this isn't Tomb Raider. <laughs> no, it's... Da -da 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 -da. Tin Raider. <laughs> you two were such sad twats. I bet you're feeling better though, right? No. Um, would milk help? What part of me would you be milking? <laughs> no, a glass of milk. I don't think I could produce that much. Why don't we put Sex and the City on? I know, I hate that film. Sex up the shitter, on the other hand. <laughs> OK, how about this? Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, this is useless. We're never going to get past this. No, no, we can. The past clear. Come on, carry on. <laughs> oh, no. I said, um... Yeah. Why aren't you going to tend to your baby, eh? I don't know why you're being so cruel, Gaz. You look like a dad to come at the end. I am his dad. Well, you might be dead, but you're not buried. Sorry, pal. I have to do it. I have to tell her. Gaz, me and Corinthian have been talking. Janet, me first. Listen, I need to tell you something. No, Gaz, let me finish. He made some very trenchant points and was quite insistent. <laughs> what did he say? Corinthian. I've been talking to Mummy. Well, in my opinion, she was a bit insensitive to you. She knows how good you are with me. We have a right good laugh. Yeah. Remember when I put vodka on your dummy because you won't stop whining? What? It's a private conversation, do you mind? Sorry. Anyway, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, <laughs> I miss my daddy. I miss him too. But then I've known you a bit longer, so you know. You know what? Hey? Eh? <laughs> Come on, Len. Oh. Come on, what's up with you? Gaz, you do know that was actually me speaking then, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so go on. What did Corinthian want to tell me? Well, he was quite dramatic. He used some big words I didn't understand, but I think I got the gist. What's a gist? <laughs> he said he'd always loved... He'd always love his daddy. And he'd like to be able to remember him from time to time through people who knew him best. His wife, his best friend. Demanding little beggar, isn't he, eh? <laughs> he said it was very important to talk about his daddy. And to keep mementos, though he agreed that the earwax candle was friggin' disgusting. 
really did marry a trump, you know. <laughs> and he said that as he grew older, he'd come to think of you as his dad. Battle's on, doesn't he, eh? <laughs> you drunk again. <laughs> he'd like you to be his father. He thinks Johnny was okay, but... What are you trying to say? Me? No, I'm not saying anything. This is all Corinthian. Excuse me if I paraphrase. Go on. He'd like you to have the rights of a biological father. He wants you to apply to the courts for parental responsibility. That's what I'm saying, but and he I says, am... if you don't say yes, then he'll cry like this, and I quote, Wah! Of course I will. Of course I'll be his dad. And we'll be a proper family. We'll be a proper family, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See? Found her own way of dealing with an argument, eh? We did. Without shouting or sex or, you know, comfort eating or crying. We used our child to avoid talking to each other face to face. <laughs> We're like a proper couple. <laughs> you just said our child. I did. Come on, let's just go to bed. Oh, <laughs> Why are you dressed like that? Is it laundry day? I've got to go to court and I'm trying to look responsible. This is really hard for me to say, but you are a terrible mother. <gasps> I'm trying to be the best dad ever. By asking men to sit on your lap and play with your balls. <laughs> Anything's going with Wesley? Oh, he is funny and considerate and he's got an iPhone. <laughs> she needs a cuddle. I just can't, all right. This is Wesley, he's my boyfriend, he's from London. Sweet, I'll have a uh, bottle of lager. Okay. Oh. I'm not 100% happy in that London. Talk to him. Hey, Mr. Bartender, give me a drink. I want a cold, wet glass with bubbles in it. And the next...